Welcome to today's lesson. In our previous lesson, we discussed about the climate of India. And today, our topic of discussion is the natural vegetation of India. The video link of the previous lesson has been provided in the description for your reference. So, let's begin today's lesson. Well, here we can watch a video of the Botanical Garden of India, which is situated in Howrah, West Bengal. The full name of this garden is Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose Indian Botanic Garden. It was set up in 1890 with the objective of exploring the plant resources of the country and identifying and protecting the endangered plant species. This garden has a specimen of more than 12,000 plant species, the most noteworthy of them being the Great Banyan Tree. It is a banyan tree with more than 1,000 prop roots and a circumference of 313 meters, which is thrice the average size of a cricket ground. This tree stands as a living legend and has been recognized as one of the largest trees in the world. Now, apart from this great banyan tree, the garden also exhibits and is famous for its enormous collections of orchids, water lilies, palms, bamboos, pines, etc. Now, all these trees have been collected from different parts of the country and have been raised here. Now, although this garden is a man-made thing that is created by human being, but it is a replica of the natural vegetation of India. So, now let us understand the meaning of natural vegetation. Well, natural vegetation of any region refers to a plant community that has grown naturally and exists independently of human intervention. That is, any forests, grasslands, crops, etc. that have cropped up or has grown naturally without human aid and have been left undisturbed by human beings for a long time. Now, we often grow plants in our rooftops of gardens or cultivate crops. They are also a part of plant community, but they do not form natural vegetation of any region because they grow with human aid and not naturally. Whereas, the forest, mangroves, scrubs and thrones and other types of trees that are found in different parts of the country form the natural vegetation of India because these trees have grown up naturally. Now all these trees and plants are the true assets of our country and are quite valuable for us. Let's see how. Well, we all know that there are four basic things that are required for our survival and they are air, shelter, water and food. We human beings or any living beings cannot live without these four things. Now, these things are so important that the scientists or researchers are spending dollars to discover them in other planets. Now, let me tell you an interesting fact. Plants provide us with these things either directly or indirectly. For instance, oxygen or air that we breathe in comes from or is given off by plants. Again, the timber that is used for constructing, building houses, etc. are again obtained from plants. Plants also provide us with fresh water in the form of rain. Again, the fruits, vegetables, cereals, etc. that form a major part of our diet come from plants. So, we find that plants provide us with basic things that are required for our survival or existence. As discussed just now, plant provides us with oxygen that we breathe in. 
and in turn the carbon dioxide gas that is exhaled by human beings and animals is absorbed by plants thus we find that there is a constant exchange of gases between plants and animals now this oxygen gas that is given off by plants is very important for us as it helps us to perform all the metabolic activities so we find that plants are indeed very useful for us and it is the natural supplier of oxygen on earth in other words we can also say that plants act as the lungs of our mother earth now apart from oxygen plants also eliminate water vapor or moisture through leaves by the process of transpiration now this water vapor eliminated by the plants eventually form clouds and cause rain thus plants help in causing rainfall and this in turn regulate global temperature by causing a cooling effect now a number of products that we use in our daily lives like sugar cotton clothes fruits and vegetables rubber tires paper wooden furniture etc are obtained from plants thus apart from oxygen and water plants also provides us with numerous valuable products now before proceeding with our lesson here we have a question to answer it asks which of the following is not obtained from plants and the options given are fruits timber meat or cotton well which of them do you think is the correct one see we just discussed that fruits timber and cotton are obtained from plants while meat as we know is obtained from the flesh of animals so the item that is not obtained from plants will be meat so the correct option is meat so now let us continue with our discussion well we all know that plants grow on soil and in this process they bind the soil with their root system thus plants act as a protective layer and they prevent or reduce surface runoff and this in turn prevents soil erosion also plants act as excellent shelter bells by obstructing wind flow especially if you plant the trees in a perpendicular direction to the wind flow so if the plants are planted in a perpendicular direction to the wind flow then the soil is not swept away by wind thus here we find that plants prevent soil erosion by holding the soil firmly and by obstructing the wind flow so we find that plants are indeed an important part of the environment now in this photo collage we can see many wild animals let's identify them we can see chimpanzees gorillas toucans which are birds snakes frogs leopards etc now where do you think these animals live yes these animals live in forest so forest is the home or natural habitat of many wild animals now just imagine what will happen if we destroy forests or cut down trees yes these poor animals will become homeless and they will eventually die so the very existence of these animals depend on plants so we found that plants are quite valuable for us in numerous ways for instance plants is the natural supplier of oxygen on earth and also acts as carbon sink because plants exhale or give off oxygen gas and it absorbs carbon dioxide gas another importance of plant is that they are the provider of many valuable products like timber cotton paper rubber etc 
also plants help in bringing or causing rainfall on earth and it regulates global temperature plants also prevent soil erosion and they are the habitat of wildlife thus we find that forest is a valuable natural resource and it is our duty to protect the natural vegetation of our country but we human beings are very selfish and instead of providing protection to these plants we are destroying and harming them let's see how well we all know that plant provides us with a lot of valuable products like timber paper fuel wood etc now in order to obtain or satisfy the growing needs for these items we human beings are destroying forest also the forests are being cleared off in order to provide land for agriculture and for building infrastructure like roads bridges buildings etc now this act of indiscriminate cutting down of trees and removal of forests to cater human needs is known as deforestation deforestation is an evil act and this deforestation or destruction of green cover will eventually take a toll on survival of human beings because the existence of human beings are very much dependent on plants so instead of destroying the green cover we must actually protect the natural vegetation of our country and how can we do that well an important step to preserve the natural vegetation of our country is to stop deforestation and to promote afforestation well we all know that deforestation refers to the act of indiscriminate and reckless cutting down of trees in order to cater human needs on the contrary afforestation refers to planting trees and re-establishing forest so afforestation helps to replenish green cover whereas deforestation reduces or removes the green cover now due to rapid urbanization and growing population deforestation is sometimes unavoidable so what's the remedy well we must apply one trick that is if we are cutting down one tree in one part of the country then we must instead plant two trees in another part so that the overall stock of plant resources is maintained within the country now you must be wondering how as an individual you can make the difference by planting trees well i have an inspiring story to share in this context a man from assam named javad molai pine started planting trees in 1979 and within a span of 30 years he converted a barren land of 550 acres into a forest and he did this single handedly for this generous act he was honored with padma shri in 2015 and he is popularly known as the forest man of india so see how as an individual you can make the difference and contribute towards increasing the green cover of the country Now in order to encourage more and more people to plant trees and to spread awareness among the citizens the government of India has started a drive named Van Mahotsav Van Mahotsav is actually a combination of two words where van means forest and mahotsav means festival So One Mahotsav is actually a tree planting festival that is celebrated every year in the first week of July all over India especially by the students of schools and colleges 
in this occasion trees are planted in different parts of the country and this is done to preserve and increase the green cover of India. So, we discussed that by planting more and more trees and by reducing the rate of deforestation, we would be able to preserve the natural vegetation of India. And we must always remember that the greener the earth, the better it is because the plants help to beautify our nature and also is a valuable natural resource as discussed just now. So, in today's lesson, we firstly understood the meaning of natural vegetation and the importance of forest in our daily lives. Then, we also discussed several ways in which we can preserve the natural vegetation of India because they are quite a valuable asset of the country. So, that's all about today's lesson on the natural vegetation of India. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.